Welcome to Therapy Through Cards. In today's pink card reading, which we are doing in the evening, as you can see, it is a little bit darker, but I felt like this reading is for the evening. So I've got my little candle on. So we're going to be having a look at what's destined for you in this lifetime. It is a pretty big topic and we're only going to scratch the surface in this pick a card reading. We're just basically going to just get as much messages as we can within a given time. Okay, this wouldn't, this is not going to be an extensive reading. I would love to go more in depth and I think I'm going to do a more in depth reading for this topic about what you're destined for in another video, but this is just more of a short and sweet one just to give you a little bit of a teaser <laughs> into maybe a few things that are going to be destined for you in this lifetime, which is really exciting. And I decided to use different um, different cards. I usually use pocket car, pocket bag messages. But today for this one, Spirit wanted me to use these oracle cards. They're called tea leaf oracles. This one's an astrology card. And then we've also got crystals. So you've got a number of uh, things to, to choose from here. So if you guys want to choose from the crystal or the tea leaf oracles, go for it. Okay, so use your intuition, choose the power that you're drawn to, and let's get into it. So, pile number one, we're going to start with you. Welcome to your reading. We're going to have a look at a little bit of what is destined for you in this lifetime. I'm excited. We're going to get like a little bit of a sneak view, and we'll see what messages want to come through. Okay, uh, I will be using Tarot Oracle and channel channeling a little bit if I feel drawn to, and if I am there's a pause or a silence, it's because I'm drinking my drink, okay? <laughs> Which I just did. So, uh, let's get into it. You guys chose this crystal. And it's interesting because I chose these crystals particularly because there's a message behind it, which is pretty magical. I can't remember what the word is behind these crystals. I guess that kind of serves um, me well when it comes to... <laughs> uh, you guys receiving your messages and me not knowing because I don't like to know. I really don't. I like to see the messages when you see them. It just makes everything a lot more magical and a lot more exciting. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's see what is destined for you in this lifetime before we get your cards. Happiness. Oh, okay, lovely. Great. So a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. Happiness, especially is, while I channel this, is like you're going to be doing something that you love. That's exactly what I got immediately when I looked at this. So if you're in a job or if you're in a relationship or there is something where you're just not happy, that's going to be gone. That's not part of your destiny. There is something coming in where you feel so happy. Okay, it's really exciting. And I think that has a, a role and effect in every other area of your life. So there's something that brings you super, super, super amount of joy and happiness. And it just, just rolls over and makes every other area of your life enjoyable beautiful so it's so you guys chose the house wait no you didn't you chose the month of the year so this could give us an indicator of when this happiness is coming in um if you guys are already happy that's great but it's kind of just with the month and i will have a look at the cards because it that could also tell me exactly what is coming in with this month so let's have a look at the month january okay so something to do with january is very significant in your destiny you could have a birthday in january i always like to just put this out um or it could just be january it it's funny because it's at the beginning of the year so there's something new happening at the beginning of the year that brings you a lot of happiness maybe it's something that you decide to do i don't know why i'm getting this, this is a total channel you decide to make the decision so it's not something like in a life where someone gives you a gift or someone gives you something that makes you happy. This is about you deciding to make a change in your life. I do sense that, guys, which brings you a lot of happy, which is great because this tells me that this happiness is going to be long lasting. It's not going to be something that is just fulfills you for a year, like a year or a minute or a month. I definitely feel like this is long term happiness because you 
you've decided to make it a commitment to whatever it is that's bringing you a lot of happiness we'll find out we'll have a look at the cards and we'll have a look at whatever else wants to manifest i'm just gonna put it like there because i know with all the light there's a lot of glare but you guys can see okay so keep an eye on january i can't tell you what year guys i just tell you the month okay that is a lot i don't want to take that many guys so i'm not going to take it because i have so many other cards that i want to use so we're just gonna spirit can i just have one and let me tap into your energy by the way guys <laughs> so when i tap into your energy i will channel until i can get all your cards down we'll see what spirit wants to say to you about what's destined for you what's destined for final number one yeah spirit did say makeover did say something will it be getting revamped that's very interesting um very very interesting what else for it uh oh okay so spirit just gave me this uh interesting vision of you're going to be listening or hearing something okay like it could be from hearing something that someone said or reading something in a book or hearing something that your family said or a friend or there's just some sort of words or advice no i don't even want to say advice i want to say that you're going to be your mind's going to be opened to something that you hear you read you see and that causes a shift within yourself and your destiny okay information is going to change your life all right so receiving some information all right let's just Shuffle this. What else, Spirit? What is destined? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, guys. So you will be... Um, I, I do feel like some things are going to have to end right now as part of your destiny. Uh, so I wouldn't be afraid of it, but <laughs> I think... You'll have to let go of a few things. We'll have a look what comes out. I think the cards are really going to tap into your destiny rather than me channeling tonight. I don't know why. Spirit's like not making me be a clearer channel as much as I usually am. So when that happens, Spirit really wants me to focus on the cards. But I'll just see. Uh, yeah, okay. So Spirit keeps telling me about there's something really significant in your present okay and i feel like maybe some of you guys are missing it because your present right now with what you're doing already plays a really important part in your destiny okay so this kind of tells me that maybe you've already activated it activate what you're destined for or something to do with your destiny is already awake in the present um <laughs> yeah wow <laughs> And it's turned up front, uh, upright. I'll tell you about that. You got the third house and I'm talking about you guys are going to receive some information. <laughs> uh, what else? Spirit. Guys, I am going to use this card. And I'll get some more cards as we go on. Go in. Wow, a joyous fun. Okay, so let, can you see all that or is that really hard to see? It's because I, you know what I did before the reading? I moved the camera uh up a bit so you guys could see the candle for some reason i don't know spirit wanted you to see the candle tonight so that makes it a little bit harder for you to see all the cards but i will hold the cards up if you can't really see them but i want to show you the cards that flipped face upward because these cards are called the pick me pick me cards so they're very very important they are they just want to be seen first okay so I'm going to read them first. So you have the third house. So the third house plays a really important role in your destiny. Okay, you're destined here to learn something, as we can see on the card. I'm just having a look what it says. Your potential to learn something and your local neighborhood. For some reason, I kind of feel like this is in your local neighborhood. Um, it doesn't have to be, but... Um, but also, what does the third house represent? It represents communication, your... Um, I, I kind of feel as well as that study. I don't know why study is coming in. Learning. But it's not... It's something that you're interested in because we have the joyous fun. So you enjoy learning 
whatever it is that is going to come through that you're destined for. Some of you guys might be already kind of discovering this. It does give me this discovery energy where you will discover an interest or like I said before, spirit just told me that someone's going to say something to you or you're going to read something. And it's funny because this guy's reading a book <laughs> or a woman. I don't really know. I think it is a woman actually. So you're going to find something in a book or and then just be like wow okay this is this is this really really sits with me it hits me in a very good way in a profound way it changes me i want to do this for my desk like for my purpose or what it, it's just it was meant to find you because it's what you're meant to partake in if you get what i mean okay uh what we what is meant for us will find us so what you're seeking will is seeking you that's a really nice quote that's just an example guys maybe something like that really hits a hits a light bulb in your in your brain it's like something that someone says a quote a famous person an influencer maybe something it's like a picture on your 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 feed that really hits with you and yeah that's just an example what is seeking you what you're seeking is seeking you i don't know there's such a big significance for your reading so what are you seeking guys because it's seeking you but i think you're going to discover something okay with the third house speech as well um social media with the third house wow but i'm really focusing on this third house card because i want to have a look at what's on it because all third house cards are different we have a lot of books here. So you guys are maybe here to write your story or write your philosophy or something that you want to voice or you your, your interest, something that gives you so much joy. So much joy, guys. And it's fun, by the way. This isn't like, oh, I'm going to write, I'm going to write a 5,000 word essay. But you know, it's, 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 it's enjoyable. It's part of your destiny. Okay. Information working with reading writing yeah and, and and expressing that knowledge to the world okay it also represents siblings as well so your siblings may play a very important role just because we have a lot of siblings here to confirm that which is really interesting all right so uh your brothers your sisters they may really have a influence on i think you guys got close relationships some of you most of you okay it's, it's good good energy here so let's keep going what is destined for you in this lifetime we have the father we have a lot of children here as well so maybe you guys are destined to have children in this lifetime uh we have the father talent for creating and supporting life a positive guiding light within a tribal unit so a tribal unit is just like your soul tribe or a tribe at where you connect okay um but i'm also sensing your family you're destined to have a family i just sense that like if when children come out in my reading it even means you guys need to connect with your inner child or you guys are having children or their your children play an important role in the message so i think for some of you if you already have children uh yeah, there is this amazing like you have such you're such a good parent <laughs> wow I just like, as soon as that, like, I always pay attention to what I say and what happens to me throughout my body because that's energy reading. And you guys are amazing parents. If you're not parents, you will be uh, guaranteed. So get ready for that. Uh, but also the father can represent, you know, being a guiding light, being a father figure, all right, uh, within a community okay what else do we have abundance eight eight. Oh my god i just did like a video of the eight eight lions portal and we have eight eight here so <laughs> abundance is yours and it's what is it next to it isn't okay i'll show you it you can't see it there it is it's next to the third house so communication is going to bring you so much abundance you're destined you have words to say that are going to impact thousands and millions of lives get to it Find something that you're interested in if you haven't already done so and read a, a shitload about it, learn about it, become a master and share your opinion because that's what I'm kind of feeling here, right? Uh, yeah, this is exciting. 
gives me a lot of passion to this abundance card. I'm feeling so much passion with the 8-8. Eight, eight. And yeah, I think you guys may be like a, with a father, it, it's people look up to you with what you have to say or what you've written or what you've created here with the information that you have to say. Okay, let's have a look. Messiah, serving humanity with humility. So this is part of what you're destined. You're here to serve through, through this knowledge that you have acquired. Serving humanity, and that's how you're going to do it, through being this guiding light for people, which is very inspiring. Like, I want to know what you have to say, or I just, it's a more so rather your perspective on what you've learned or your interests that you find really, really enjoyable. That's what I want to, to be a part of. I think you really have a really unique take on what you're, you're interested in. You have amazing you have, like, I honestly feel that I could be blown away with what comes out of your mouth. Like I was saying with the quote, the quote that I mentioned, that maybe some of you guys have really crazy insights about life. <laughs> Transformation. Wow. So you're destined to transform in your lifetime. You're destined to change. You're not going to be the person that you are now. Love it. I'm also sensing here next to the Messiah is that you're going to be transforming other people's lives for the better. Angel of energy, action, movement, changes. Be aware of the life force. We have changes again. Oh, wow. Guys, your words. We have change together. Um, this takes me back to what I was saying. There is some action that you're taking or some movement to make this change. It's not something where it's life events that changes your life out of your control. This is your control. It's like you've made a decision to make a change in your life and you take the necessary actions and it forms this transformation with the butterfly. Okay, big stuff. Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Oh, wow. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, so we've got more change here. Uh, so ancestral patterns. So you are not repeating the same mistakes that your parents or your ancestors have made. You're deciding to revolutionize and break certain patterns, rewrite your future. You're not going to repeat. You're going to not going to follow in the same footsteps, which is very exciting. And I think it comes to some sort of like you having learned something or being awakened. Healing. You're healing, guys. This, okay, guys, if you were, okay, this is really specific and it's hitting it's, it's hitting me deeply. Like, I just feel it in my gut. So if you've had broken family or your upbringing was really hard and not easy and difficult and full of challenges and you maybe didn't have the best role models, you're not going to want that for your children. You're not going to repeat that to your children. Like, it's next to the freaking children family card. Like, this is crazy. Uh, you're going to be... You're going to be an amazing, amazing parent. I want to cry. <laughs> um, so... Just know that if you feel like there's just so much struggle, I just, just due to some ancestral patterns that you know that you want to break, you don't want to continue on, you have the strength and you're going to be able to not, not be dumb and, and unaware and you're going to break the chain, which is really exciting, Okay bring you a lot of happiness in your your family in your home life all right let's have a look at this card because it's kind of the happiness story is on it so i'm really really curious let's have a look oh fertility guys you guys are gonna have children something like uh, it, it doesn't just have to be children but it just says let all take root seed and sprout new life be all about and it's above the ancestral pattern so if you guys come from 
just uh, broken like i just kind of feel like you don't want to bring the past into your future you really want to have you really want to be more you want there's something new about new life here, especially with the transformation. And maybe you give this to other people as well. I'm also sensing here with the father hope. You give people for hope and faith that they can have happiness in their life and that that abundance is theirs. All right. So you're a very wise person, pound of a one. <laughs> the world completion. Do you know what this actually means? Uh, yes, it means that you've completed your your ancestral karma or um the lessons that you're here to learn all right this is what you're destined for uh but i'm also sensing here is the world can also represent a new chapter and we have a new life so we have a new life next to basically a new cycle a new cycle wow this is so exciting. I want to get more information. Spirit, let's get some more information. What is power number one destined for? Then we'll get some tea leaf oracle cards. I'll get some more of them. What is power number one destined for? We've got some intuitive messages after this. Like this is just a snapshot. I am going to do a deeper, more extensive detailed reading in the future of this topic because I absolutely love it. So let's get a few more and then we are going to get some intuitive messages. So what are you destined for in this lifetime? Power number one. Well, definitely something to do with career. New career, work changes. Yeah. Intuition, trust. Psychic. You could, guys could be psychic. But trusting your intuition is really important here. Uh, you do have intuition. I think that's what you're going to be enhancing. You're destined well-being oh lovely well-being uh why do i feel that it's well-being of other people as well but you cannot help increase other people's well-being without working on yourself right so that is lovely really really nice so well-being next to new career is just giving me the fact that you will have a new career or changes within your work that's going to make you really really happy that could be the area that i was talking about at the beginning i do sense there's something about your home life and your family life that is going to be very make you very happy but there is some work that you do that just is phenomenal <laughs> uh yeah so that's really exciting especially with 8 8 because 8 8 is all about you know it does tell me about the material world and material success. And often we relate that to our career. Okay, so let's get you some intuitive messages before we wrap up your reading. I told you this was going to be the longest reading. Let's have a look. What is destined for you in this lifetime? Okay. Oh my God, you got the intuition again. Ooh, a secret admirer is going to reach out. Um, I think that's many. I think you're going to be very admired. <laughs> Your imperfections and differences are going to change the lives of others positively. I knew that. I knew that with the well-being. Like I knew. Oof. And look what else come out. Again, more to do with your career. Career blessings. If things have been tough, stagnant, or confusing with career, you will see a turn of good luck. Clarity and direction is yours. That's what you're destined for. Broken. Okay. That's really interesting because look what it landed on. It kind of landed on the transformation and the changes. So that's going to be um, transformed. You know, if you're feeling a little bit broken in taking action or just any sort of area in your life right now where it's just feeling a little bit flat because that's the kind of energy I got when I read that card. I was like this immediate flatness, like, oh, uh, uncomfortable that's transforming and it could be something to do with your career because it says career blessings if they've been tough that you're destined for career success in a nutshell okay that's basically it um i think i'm gonna leave your reading there guys uh i'm so excited make sure that you subscribe for the in-depth reading about your what's destined for you because that will come soon um i hope something 
resonated with this reading if it did feel free to leave a comment i'd love to hear your feedback and hopefully you guys will subscribe so i can see you in a future reading okay let's get to pile number two pile number two welcome to your reading we're gonna have a look there's just like a short snapshot of what is destined for you in this lifetime there will be a longer extensive version that's coming that is a lot more in depth right in the future so make sure you subscribe if you want some more detail and in-depth messages from spirit but tonight we're just getting like basically just some simple to the point messages all right oh let me t put that away uh so you guys chose this amazing deck and this crystal actually has a word on the back and I forgot it with all the crystals, which is cool because I don't like to know what is behind, what messages come through. I like to see them when you see them. So uh, let's have a look at what is destined for you in this lifetime. Wealth. Okay. Money. Money is destined for you. Uh, but I, I do want to say that wealth doesn't have to be literally tied to finances. It could be a wealth of emotional fulfillment with a connection or it could be a wealth of of uh, in terms of health you know so we might see what wealth is coming through but typically it is money okay uh but what we're gonna do is we're gonna shuffle a number of tarot and oracle decks and you guys chose this astrology card which is so colorful isn't it it's really really bright and beautiful i really like the design of this so we'll have a look at what's on the back of that let me see do i want to do it now spirit or do i want to continue shuffling and then actually you know what i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show everyone's at the beginning i think okay so this is gonna play a big role in your what's destined for you in this lifetime so get ready oh libra okay you guys may be a Libra or a person that is a Libra may play a big part in your destiny. Or it's just the energy of Libra, which is diplomatic, harmony, and balance. Very important. Okay, so you're here to bring harmony and balance and to be quite diplomatic. All right. Also, Libra represents relationships for me. So relationships may be where you get this level of wealth. It doesn't have to be. Sorry, I am taking a sip of my drink let's get into it you may have libra in your chart as well i don't know spirit just told me to say that <laughs> so let's tap into your energy spirit so i'm just gonna get a few channel messages while i get your cards spirit for pile and number two what is destined for them in this lifetime yeah spirit straight away said money so there you go guys uh what else what uh Ooh, okay spirit uh just gave me the like the word fire all right i know fire can symbolize so many things but what i'm getting here is that there is this need to control your emotions i am sensing that this is what you're destined for to do which you will uh i'm kind of feeling like maybe emotional uh understanding your emotions a lot deeper so that you can have balance in your life uh, this is what's coming through so maybe for some of you there has been this challenge or this struggle with trying to balance your emotions this is what you're destined to in your lifetime is to master your emotions this is what i'm getting here guys because i'm just getting so so when spirit said fire spirit showed me this oracle card uh spirit will re refer to cards that are not even here guys because <laughs> i i do a lot of bigger card readings and readings in general, I I can memorize the cards that come through and Spirit will show me a card. So Spirit showed me this card of like uh, extreme uh, hate and extreme love or something like that, right? It's, it's, it's this extremes in our emotions, which is coming through. It's what you're destined to. I kind of think work through and I think you will mustering your emotions, which is really exciting. Because that, if we can do that, then wow, how, how smoother will our life run you know i mean i know emotions when they're a bit heightened can be very exciting and thrilling at the time but they can cause a lot of stress right over a long period of time and yeah i think you're doing really well you're going to be really good at balancing 
keeping harmony in your relationships. I do feel like a partner is going to be very significant in this lifetime, guys. I really do. Just, just sensing that. We're just getting a few cards for it. Any more messages? The pile number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it said relational. So relational is all about your relationships, right? The way that you communicate and connect with people. So big in this, what, what's destined for you? Let's get one more. Oh, okay. Spirit just told me a big channel. Like, well, Spirit said you need to have a future plan. So uh, maybe this is something that you're going to be establishing or there is just this need to focus on your future a little bit more about like the direction of where you're going. Uh, do you have any future? Do you have a future plan? Do you know where you're going? Do you know what your future looks like? Um, I know we're here talking about your what you're destined for and so that you may actually see a little bit about what's happening in the future but spirit did say that you need to almost like know where you're going it's really going to serve you which is interesting so we'll have a look at your cards we'll have a look hmm let's see right i'm going to pull you more cards in this so don't worry let's have a look at your archetype cards we have the mentor you are here you're destined to be a mentor which is beautiful uh, of course, this is all about if you're going to be a mentor, you're going to have to learn to be able to balance different dynamics when it comes to relationships, right? So passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. So you're going to be sharing wisdom. You are a mentor here. You're destined to be a mentor, basically. Okay. This is like a snapshot reading. So the messages that come out are pretty specific and I'm not going to read too much into it. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. You saw me shuffle that. This is amazing. This is like a magical moment. Magical moment. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh so yes, can I'll show you my archetype deck. Have a look at this, right? Look at this. You probably think they're all different archetypes, but it's actually two archetype decks put together. So the chance <laughs> So that's why you have two, okay? Because I think there are two of each. Oh! But the fact that Spirit has put it out again. I know, I'm getting really lively. Um, I'm just so excited for you because this tells me that your wealth is going to come through being a mentor. So guys, you're destined to be a mentor. I need you to really pay attention to this because this is coming out twice. You're not, you're meant to be a leader. You, you're a mentor. You're here to help people. Let me read it again. Passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. Pile number two. Amazing. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I get so excited. So you got Pluto. Pluto. The ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. So you're going, you're destined for a big transformation. It's funny because the other pile had transformation. You got the planet of Pluto, which is your ability to transform. I think you're going to transform lives as well. Being a mentor. Mm. But I think there is going to be a specific transformation that you will go through in your life. I don't know whether you've gone through that now like a big transformation like rising from the phoenix but you also help people do this because it's like under the mental card but let's keep going boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries okay guys okay this is <laughs> oh my god okay so this is all about relationships and people and that is what you're mentoring helping people establish boundaries Oh, this is it. Like, if you guys don't know what it is that you're going to be mentoring, this is definitely part of it. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Um, I don't actually specifically think that's you that needs to establish better boundaries. I think it's that's what you're going to be helping other people work through. It's like, okay, well, we're talking about relationships here. Maybe, like, you guys are so, so, so good at understanding relationships because that's what Libra is and this is what you're teaching to other people so you're going to bring harmony into people's lives to people's relationships and one way you do that is establishing boundaries right 
Amazing. Let's keep going. Happy ending. Oh, you're going to have it. Oh, you can't really see that, can you? So a happy ending is destined for you. Hmm. Let's have a look at your tarot. I'm so sorry. I only got you one tarot. He got the Queen of Swords. Oh my God. I, the Queen of Swords are far out, guys. Look at this. You see me shuffle this, right? That's you. That is you. So usually there's a card in my readings that is represents the person I'm reading for. Well, the people that I'm reading for. So you are the Queen of Swords. Amazing. Uh, fairness. Fairness. <laughs> Harmony. <laughs> Balance. In relationships. Uh, but yeah, you could be helping other people balance their life or bring some harmony in their life. Uh, but I love the Queen of Swords. She's got so much attitude. I love her. I mean, you wouldn't think that someone that wants balance has a bit of attitude. I would probably think that would be more of Aries or um, Aquarius. But the Queen of Swords, okay... She, in tarot particularly, I'm not kind of going with astrology. With tarot, the Queen of Swords is, she has a very sharp mind. She is very discriminating. She can see through things that she may not, um, she, she knows value. That's what I'm kind of feeling. She knows value and she can get to the heart of a situation and know its value, right? Just through seeing through her mind you know what i mean like when you see a situation you can kind of see she can measure up in her mind whether okay that's worth something or that's not it's like do i want that in my life or do i not that's what i always feel with the queen of swords she's so sharp with her mind that she can discriminate what is going to be beneficial for her and what is not you have that talent right you help people get more happy endings in their life and yourself too Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. What I just talked about, guys. Angel of intuition, foresight, knowledge, psychic ability, just knowing. You know. You're destined to know things that other people need the answers to. Like, you you, you have knowledge, you have foresight. And that's what the Queen of Swords has. You just know. This is ex this is such an amazing reading. I really love this. Amazing, amazing energy. The Camel Boy. Small steps asking for help. Hmm. So, I do feel like this is your energy, guys. I, I Sometimes I'm like, oh, it's not your energy, it's other people's energy, but this is yours. So, the fact that it's coming before the Queen of Swords, all right? This is interesting. Okay, so Spirit's telling me these are two versions of yourself. This is your old version of yourself, and this is your, your version that you're stepping into. Okay, it's your highest version. I am going to do a video on that. I'm so excited. Subscribe so you can get that video. But what I love about the Queen of Swords is that she is curious and she will, if she doesn't know how to do something or she doesn't know the steps to take, she'll find out and she'll, she'll, she'll seek the information and the resources that she needs. So I'm kind of feeling like maybe you guys started out this could be you now, depending on your spiritual journey or where you are in life right now. Um, but I do feel here with the camel boy is that you, this isn't something that's going to happen overnight, guys. You're going to have to take some small steps. You're going to have to start off as a novice and a novice is someone that doesn't have that much experience or is new all right so there will be a period of you having to acquire knowledge sharpen your psychic abilities tap into this foresight into this this intuition that you have asking for help kind of tells me it's like asking for spirit spiritual help like connecting with spirit especially because it's above the angel of intuition all right so that's, we all have to start somewhere. And that's what I kind of feel like these two cards represent. 
So once you kind of get that knowledge and foresight and tap into it and activate it, bang, you're the queen of swords and you're very happy and you're able to help other people get their happy endings. Let's go over here. Let's have a look at these two cards. Let me have a sip of my drink. Oh, oh God. Okay, this is the queen of swords in Oracle, I am telling you. <laughs> oh my God, the chess queen. It's trust and strategize. The Queen of Swords, she is very vigilant. She's not going to make a hasty decision or move. So you're destined here to take your life seriously and the other people's lives seriously. That's what I get. The Queen of Swords, out of all the other queens, there is, it's a serious energy. Okay, it's, it's an air sign as well. Um, but I am just getting from the energy here is that you don't make decisions lightly. <laughs> you When you do, though... With the chess queen, your move is going to basically make you win the game and other people win their game. Win the game of life, I say. So you're very strategic. But it all comes down to trusting your intuition here and trusting your knowledge and your foresight and your experience that you've developed, which you're destined for, which you're destined to do. Let's have a look at this beautiful zodiac sign. If it's a Libra, I'm going to fall off my seat. Ah, oh, it's a Leo. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> That's nice. That gives you a little bit more fire. So what do we have? Let your inner hero out. You are a hero to other people. That's what you're destined here for. And the moon is all about your emotions. And what was I talking about? I was talking about balancing emotions, which is something that you're going to be really good at. And it's interesting because I wouldn't think an air sign would be really good at that. But um, it's, it's something here where you're not afraid of uncomfortable emotions you're here to help people go through uncomfortable emotions you're a mentor there's so much orange here you have so much warmth to your personality power number two okay that's what i associate orange with and leers they are just so warm <laughs> their their energy is just makes well, personally speaking, from my experiences with Leos, it's just that it makes me feel so good after I interact with them. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, I just feel so good. <laughs> <coughs> Whew, okay, so that's really beautiful. I'm gonna help be helping people through with their emotions. So let's get some. Let's get some more information. So we're going to pick some more tea leaf oracles. We're going to get some more information. What's destined for you in your lifetime? Oh, you got more astrology cards. Maybe you're just destined for these astrology cards. Okay, we're just going to get more cards, more information. For part number two, what are they destined for in this lifetime? Oh, excuse me. I'm burping in your reading, which is very weird. I never burp. Probably because I'm having... Oh, oh wow. Uh, I want to leave it there because it landed on that card. Must be a reason why it landed on that card. So, guys, let's have a look. So, we have wishes coming true. So, you're destined to having wishes. But it takes taking small steps, right? But you're destined for a wish to come true. Re reversal, deceleration, and distance. Okay, so this is the mentoring, what you're helping people. You're helping people reverse or distance themselves from i just feel for some reason that some of you guys could be helping people like what what came to my mind was mistakes like people making mistakes and you're like no what the hell don't worry about it let's reverse those mistakes Retrograde could just be the energy that is transforming. So retrogrades are usually harder energies to to um, experience. <laughs> like you probably hear usually, oh, Venus is a retrograde. So that's going to make all our relationships go haywire. Or Mercury retrograde is going to make all our communication jumbled. And we're just really going to not know what the hell is going to come out of our mouth. Um... But because it's on Pluto, it just tells me that you're transforming any of those retrograde energies, which is interesting. Um, maybe some people are stuck in the retrograde energies. Don't know how to, mm, to navigate them. 
we also have no not likely find another way. You're helping people find another way. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just so interesting. If it's not a mentor, like, a mentor could, you could be a mentor in any industry, guys. But you're just helping people. Capricorn. Disciplined, tenacious, and resilient. Yes. That's what you're destined for. You may be a Capricorn or this. Okay. With these um, star signs, I really want you to pay attention to that. They may be really important people that you come across in your life. Or you may have, you may be this star sign or have it in your chart. Okay. Or it could just be the energies that you're going to be cultivating okay so i definitely already know that you are disciplined tenacious and resilient uh yeah <laughs> to have to go through this guys like i feel like it's not just other people going through pluto energy it's you as well you have been all right let's get your intuitive messages before we wrap up your reading oh wow yeah <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what where that yes landed on. You could probably see where it landed on. I always pay attention where the cards land because they have a mind of their own and they want to go there, so they're going to go there. Okay, so these cards are going to tell us maybe what we've been talking about or any sort of additional general messages that want to come through, right? So let's have a look at the cards that have turned up right because they want to be seen first. We have life is bigger than your thoughts. Switch to your feeling emotions. These are... Guys, what was that? When I was channeling, I definitely felt there's a sense of you guys being able to harness your emotions. All right. So life is bigger than your thoughts. I mean, you're already really good with that, with the Queen of Swords. But it's also about tapping into your feelings and your emotions. Okay. And how you do that is where your intuition, like your intuition will, will definitely increase. So, yeah, I think... You're going to be feeling, like, what was I saying? Like, all this orange gives me, like, this feeling of warmth, right? So, yeah, your heart is going to be feeling really warm. Beautiful. Let's have a look. We have heartbreak here, but let's look. We have yes, okay? Uh, you may help people go through heartbreaks, but I kind of feel like you went through a heartbreak. Uh, and now you're very resilient when it comes to that. I think you've learned, you've gone through the spiritual growth that it comes when we have a heartbreak, but you're very resilient and tenacious and disciplined and strong, guys. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Let's keep going. Adventure. You're destined to have adventure in this lifetime. Take a risk, you will be rewarded. So there's a risk that you're going to take and it's going to be rewarded. I think you're going to be rewarded with wealth. A happy ending amazing okay bye number two i'm gonna leave your reading there i hope there's something resonated make sure to subscribe so you can see the full in depth what's you're destined for in another video that i want to do this was just kind of like a snapshot i hope something resonated leave a comment if it did i love to hear your feedback and i hope to see you guys in another of my readings Okay, let's get to pile number three, my last pile. Hello, lovelies. Welcome to your reading. We're going to be having a look at what is destined for you in this lifetime. So this is just going to be a little snapshot. This isn't going to be like a full in-depth reading that I'm going to do one in the future. So make sure you subscribe so you can get that reading. But this is just basically a short and sweet reading of the most important messages and energies that want to come through in terms of what you're destined for in this lifetime i'm really excited and you guys got a house and that's big to get a house just tell me that like there's a area of your life that you're destined to focus on and also these crystals have actually they actually have words on them so we're going to reveal what it is now love okay so you're destined for love it could be true love it could be it could be love and relationships or it could just be love of something all right i'm not going to limit it but when what, what do we think when it comes to love we think of soulmate we think of marriage happy family all that kind of vibe so that could definitely be what you're destined for i'm not gonna um disregard that but 
It could also have something to do with something that you love. But we'll see what the cards have to say. So let's have a look at the astral house that you chose. And this is interesting. If this turns out to be love, then it's definitely romantic, okay? But we'll see what it is. Oh, it's happiness. Okay, so yeah. So you're destined here for happiness, which is beautiful. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look. Let's get your cards. Let's channel. We're going to get a bunch of Oracle, Tarot, and Intuitive Messages. I'm so excited. So for what is Pound of a Three destined for in this lifetime? Let's see. Oh, Spirit just said waiting for your turn. You need to wait for your turn. Okay, when Spirit gives me like a channel like that, it kind of means that uh you're just gonna wait for the right time it's like divine timing like we're trying to aspire things in your life um for for something to happen which is interesting okay so something is gonna happen in your destiny that you're destined for and it's just about i don't know if it's the energy of things need to be finalized first Things need to be finalized. Spirit, what is pile? Actually, I want to get you another. Actually, I want to get you two terror. What is pile number three destined for in this lifetime? Okay, so Spirit did say facing fears. So, you guys, you're going to face fears. Facing fears is something that you're going to overcome and that you're going to do. Uh, it could be fears with relationships, with love. And I only say that because I can see a card coming through and I'll, and I'll get to that in a second. But what else, Spirit? So pile number three, what are they destined for? I saw balloons. That's interesting. I have no idea what that means, guys, but I just saw a vision of a balloon. Uh, pile number three. Spirit said create a schedule. Do you guys need to create a schedule? What, what What's your routine like? What's your daily life like? Because you know what your day-to-day, your, -day, your routine ends up creating? future so spirit wants you to pay attention and spirit wants me to give you one of these cards first and i don't usually do that i usually have to wait till the end but there's something significant coming through here that i need to share so i'm gonna i'm gonna take it and i'm not gonna reveal it yet but we're just gonna keep going spirit for pile number three what do you want to say if that's coming into there <laughs> I was going to say, what is coming into your life? And we're talking about your what you're destined for. So something, because sometimes spirit will put words in my mouth, guys. I will try to say something that I know that I'm meant to say, but it, some other words will come out. So something is coming into your life and it plays a big role with your destiny, okay? Hasn't come in yet. Hasn't come in yet. Oh, I'm excited though for you. I think you've got some big changes I, I'm not going to lie, I think you have some obstacles as well, but there's no obstacles that you cannot overcome, especially you guys, I am telling you. So you're destined for, I think these obstacles may happen in relationships and love, I'm not going to lie, we have, happiness is yours. Oh, fine, fine, if you want me to have two of those zodiac signs, I will. Okay, so we're going to get some more cards, but these are the cards that you have that are going to help us with your messages with what is... Oh my god. Okay, fine. Reveal itself. It wants to reveal itself. I'm going to... Contract. Commitment. Marriage. You're destined for this. All right, this can mean a number of things, guys. Um, it could be a contract. It could be marriage. Commitment with a person, with the love and the happiness. You're destined for that contracts yeah i actually think it could be marriage mm -hmm. because it's next to the love and spirit wanted me to choose it and i didn't want to choose i don't use those cards until the end of my readings the fact that spirit wanted me to do it now just kind of clarifies that this is you're destined to to be married if you don't like marriage you're going to commit to something uh or you're being led to commit to something Okay, it's going to bring you a lot of love and happiness. So let's have a look at the cards that have turned over. So we have, yeah, guys, we have three that have turned over. So when I 
shuffle your cards on camera and the cards come out if they come up face first they're the pick me cards i call them and they want to be seen first so i'm going to read them first and give you your messages so we have the three of swords and tune out distractions i okay i am instantly getting a channel pile number three and take what resonates guys okay so if some of this in this reading doesn't resonate I think it will because we all go through heartbreak, don't we? Right? Like, how can you not get out of heartbreak in this lifetime? And, you know, we're, I think we're all destined for heartbreak. Um, it kind of leads us towards real love and true love and what we're here to commit to, which I kind of feel is what's going to happen for you guys. Uh, and we also have some other stuff happening over here, but let's just go over here. Tune out distractions and three of swords disappointment. So I kind of feel like there was a disappointment in love because this three of swords always, um, it, it, it just intuitively gets me this energy that you have been hurt in matters of love or the heart, right? Disappointed. I think maybe you were in the past or you are in that energy now. And then we have tune out distractions. So you guys, this tells me for some of you that you are distracting yourself from this heartbreak or this disappointment. And Spirit wants you to get rid of those distractions because they're not going to help you. They're not going to help you. Uh, so I think that is something that you're going to become aware of. You're going to become aware of it. We all do this, guys. It's, it's, I'm not blaming you. I'm not having a go at you. When our heart is broken, we want to distract ourselves from feeling it. We don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to go there. So we're just going to distract ourselves. A perfect example of this, and you don't have to be doing this right now, is that people will try to move on really quickly. You know what I mean? Like someone broke their heart. There's gonna be, the best remedy is to just go out there and find someone new. But have they really dealt with the pain and the heartache of the, you know, what hurt them? Uh, so I think you may need to do a little bit more healing, guys. I, I, we could all do. We could all do a bit more healing. But this is part of your destiny because I'm telling you this is going to bring you in like your ideal soulmate compatibility. It's just amazing because you have that. You have the two rings here, right? So you have to learn your lessons through love. Spirit isn't going to bring you your ideal person that you're going to marry unless you go face your stuff that you're not facing when it comes to love and relationships because you had love you chose love <laughs> all right let's keep going let's have a look at this card yeah 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 guys you see me i don't see these cards this is definitely about love three of swords next to romance there was a disappointment in romance but you're learning your your destiny some people have to come in here and they people i'll, I'll say that i have learned so many so many um amazing things from uh heartbreak or um uh, being hurt to do with to do with love like i have learned so much amazing like you cannot even put a price on what i have learned from my relationships like yeah it's it's yeah you can't buy what i've learned and that is something that you're going to learn here and it's going to bring you so much happiness it's going to bring in something amazing okay what else seeker thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are yeah so you're when we get hurt we we true we were we seek for the truth we want to know i think you're on a journey guys you're on a journey a spiritual journey um especially with this seeker this seeker in particular is she doesn't have look at look at her she's she doesn't have much she only has her bag and her sick she's not with anyone so you're guys if you're not in a relationship right now you are here you're destined to learn to be on your own by yourself for now if you're in a relationship okay I I sense that it's good, okay? But I'm not going to guarantee it. It may not be the one for you. It may be just like a lesson. Because you're here to learn lessons with love and romance. If it is this, this what we're talking about over here, this contract, this commitment, this marriage, 
well, let's say this this commit committed relationship that's coming in, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, it's going to bring you a lot of love because you've learned a lot of stuff in the area of love and romance and relationships, they're going to marry you. That's how you'll know. They're the one. Sun in Taurus. You may be a Taurus. Um, you don't have to be, but this energy particularly, because we have the word practicalities, they're focused on the practical things in life. And it's interesting because it's like tune out of distractions and get practical. So come back to your reality, get grounded, I kind of feel. But we do have finances here, and I, I totally didn't talk about this card. I am so sorry, but let's get into this. Let's, all right, I want to, what you're destined for, I want to, get off the area of love but i think that's definitely dominated here in your reading you guys are here to to have some level of status with the sun in capricorn just because of your work because of the ability for you to go after your goals you're definitely going to get um paid financially for it so yeah you'll definitely be recognized and well known your status will be really good okay you may be a sense Capricorn or Sun and Taurus. We have a lot of Earth here, which is interesting. Okay. Wow. Let's keep going. Angel of Rebirth. Oh my God. Every pile got transformation or rebirth or Phoenix. Like, <laughs> so you're destined here. Look at this. You're destined for transformation. I think you will transform your relationships. You'll learn from them. Soul memory, freedom, new thoughts. So, yeah, transformation under romance. You're going through a huge transformation with love. New thoughts, freedom, freedom from disappointment and pain and heartache. And I'm getting ringing in my ear. Let's have a look. Addict. Oh, I love this. I love this. Oh. So let's have a look at it. Helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. And there's a bit of color synchronicity here. So if you guys are addicted to, if you, like, you're going to break addictive patterns when it comes to love. So don't worry about that. If you're in that right now, like you really cannot get off a person, um, even though they hurt you, the emotions are still there. That is okay. I want to normalize that. But that's what you're going to be transforming and letting go of freeing yourself from being tied to a romantic connection or relationship that hurt you and getting through that evolving being more mature and bringing this lovely committed relationship in for you make necessary sacrifices Ooh. okay guys you're destined here to make sacrifices sacrifices means could be in relationships. Sacrifices means that you need to give up something in your life, like your time. Uh, you can't give everything. Something has to give. I think with the addict, you're going to sacrifice. I think you're definitely um, indulging in something. And you're going to learn like, you know, the sacrifice just tells me like it's enough. What is coming to mind is like if you guys are drinking a little bit more or you're drinking to get over a heartache or you're indulging in substances because that's what I kind of feel like with distractions, that's what it represents. You know, if you're binging too much TV or if you're scrolling social media like endlessly, endlessly for hours and hours and hours and hours, that is something that you're distracting yourself from the pain here that you're here to understand Go on a journey, learn, seek the knowledge that you need to grow and to understand what you want when it comes to love and relationships so you can break these addictive behaviors that I don't think are healthy for you, but it comes by sacrificing. Break it. I just think the sacrifice is really, really good for you. Kind of just tells me like you're just going to stop doing something that isn't healthy for you. So look at your tarot. The hanged one beautiful well, yeah, just having a look if you have any um um oh yeah no no yes now have a look if you have any um number sequences no you well you do have a two and a three but we'll have a look at this hanged one perception is what's 
what's coming through with this card. So your perception is going to change. You're going to get out of a situation that you may feel stuck in because the hanged one is like you're stuck, you cannot move until you, oh my god, with the seeker, oh my god. You're, you're going to change the way you think about relationships and love and definitely um, maybe what, do you, what you want or desire in a relationship or a person is going to change. And that's going to bring in this person that's going to come in. Let's get some more information. Let's get some intuitive cards. Actually, these are like tea leaf articles. So I'm just going to get some more messages from Spirit. What is destined for you in this lifetime? Oh, that popped out. Okay. Let's just see what Spirit has to say for you. I'm just going to get a few more. I'm going to get two of these. What is destined for pile number three, Spirit? Pile number three, you have three. Do I want to go for it? I'm going to go for it. So let's have a look. We have travel, moving on, take flight. All right, so you may travel. That's destined for you, but moving on is kind of telling me like moving on from a relationship or something. Okay, I'm just, I'm just intuitively feeling like that. But yeah, travel could definitely be destined for you in this lifetime. In this... Um... Oh yeah, far out guys. I was I was intuitively drawn to turn that over and I did. I'll get to that in a minute because that's exactly what I've freaking been talking about. Let's have a look at this angel here. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So you have angels with you and working with you, especially in terms of love. How exciting. You're going to be gaining spiritual guidance as well, especially with the seeker. Especially anyone that goes through a, a period of transformation because you have it, you're instantly going to get given spiritual knowledge and information that's going to help guide you. Yes. Oh, and it landed on the addict. Okay. So we have betrayal, deceit, distrust, and beware. But what I'm getting here is that you guys need to be aware of temptation. Beware of addictive behaviors, things that you need to say no to. And I think they're driven by your emotions. And that's what usually all addictive behaviors happen is because we do not control our emotions. We let them get the better of us. So understanding your emotions, saying no, making a sacrifice. Beware of self-delusion. Exactly. So guys, you may think that you love someone or someone is suitable for you. Um, maybe guys, I think some of you are already working through this. Some of you already have. But we can believe our own delusions. We can believe like this person is the love of our life and it's going to be the love of our life forever. Um, we only love this person. Um, that's what I kind of feel like with the dragon and the snake here. But that is what you you are abolishing. That's what you're destined for here. To face the snake. To face the dragon. And look what comes in after that. Look what comes in after you do that. Family, support, comfort, and stability. And status. So you will have a family of your own. All right? You will get married. All right? But it's about learning those lessons through love. And particularly for you. But here... This is what I was talking about on the Three of Swords and the Seeker. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. You are learning lessons, tough ones, maybe right now or soon. But it's so exciting. It's so, so exciting because it leads to so much happiness and love and marriage and a new, like creating a family of your own. Comfort, support, a stubborn, aggressive person. Hmm. Interesting. To be honest, guys, I'm not going to lie. I kind of think that's your energy. You don't have to be an Aries. Whenever I look at this, I'm like, it's Aries. Some of you guys are being really stubborn. But that's okay. I think once you get out of your delusions and, and get some sense into you. I know this sounds really harsh, by the way, and I don't want it to. But this is all part of spiritual growth and learning. Okay, Spirit, let's get some more information. What is power number three destined for? Let's get some intuitive messages. All right, these are general messages. Well, this could be what we've been talking about. Let's see what wants to come through. What wants to come through for pile number three? That is way too many. I don't want all that. Let's keep going. It's a big pile. <laughs> all right, so yes. Actually, I want to get you one more. 
Let's have a look what's coming through. We have chemistry. So there's definitely a connection that you are really strongly attached to. I am just intuitively, intuitively feeling this. Okay, I know it's hard. You're like stubborn that you want to let this go, but you will have to, guys. Okay, it's all part of your healing and bringing you to your real soulmate. No more dreaming. Your dreams are ready to manifest into reality. What wish do you want granted? Take a few steps and the universe will work its magic. Have what you want. Okay, I think that's just like a general message. Mistake. Um, I think maybe you've made a mistake in love and... Look at this bird is saying it's okay you're protected from harm don't worry move on time for transformation everything's going to be okay set clear intentions are you having know you are capable of having whatever you desire okay i i don't know what it is but i just feel deeply within me that you guys desire a really happy relationship you're in demand. People will listen to what you have to say. Are you aware of your influence? Yes, that comes in with the Capricorn, with the status. So you're definitely an influencer for people. People know who you are or they will know who you are. It's definitely what you're destined for. People want to listen to what you have to say. Okay, pile number three. I'm going to leave your reading there. If you guys want to know a little bit more in depth what you're destined for, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to do a video of that soon. Um, if anything resonated, feel free to leave a comment. I love your feedback. And I hope I can see you guys in a future reading.